love you in a special way. Chicken heads, they can stay. Now that I'm here, I'm here. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Little Mo, and I'm back. Oh my God, it feels so good. The new me, new family, new y'all, new management. Big shout out to Cliff Jones and the whole Soul World Entertainment family. What's up, everybody? This your girl, Little Mo, in case you didn't know, but I know you know it's me, because I ain't been going that long. Nah, just kidding. This is my 10 year anniversary, so what better way to do it than showing y'all my face? Wow, where should we begin? We're gonna begin with me. If you've been hiding under a rock, I haven't been, but this is my seventh year out of my hiatus. I'll just put it like that. So let's go back a little bit, then I'm gonna bring y'all up to speed, then I'm gonna take y'all to the future. So if you're ready to ride with me, then let's go. So basically, cause I'm just gonna get right on into it. Seven years ago, I made the decision to basically take a little break, had to get things in order. Like I was talking to um, my husband the other day, I was just like, yo, you know, should I come back out? Should I keep my black ass at home? Or should, like, what should I do? Because I think every artist comes to the point, they come to a crossroad at their life where they feel like, yo, is this really me? Or is there more to it? I always wanted to be a lawyer, but just so happened that I turned out to be Little Mo. So I didn't mean to abandon anybody. So all big hugs and kisses to everybody who felt that I left them. But I know everybody's grown now. I got kids, I got a new family. Thank God for my new family, my new husband. I'm gonna tell y'all about that later. But it's just so many things that's going on. So I'm gonna try to get as much out of it and give it as much as to you as I can. But in the meantime, in between time, let me tell you where I've been. So back to the hiatus, took that needed time to take a breather. Why? Because you say, you know, Mo, you the superwoman. You had forever, you had the joints with Fab, with Jay, Missy, Timbaland, everybody, Ja Rule, you working with everybody. What's really good? Wasn't you living the dream? Now it's one thing to live a dream, but it's one thing to realize your reality. The reality of it was that writing songs, singing songs, but then going back home and, you know, just basically not loving myself enough to be able to perform the things that I was writing about, I basically, for myself, felt that I was living a lie, that I know I can't do that no more because then it'll start to project in my music and then that's like a, I'll say a spiritual, not being deep, but a spiritually, that's transferring to y'all. So if I'm sad, y'all gonna be sad. I realized that a lot of the emotions that I was carrying was affecting my fans. So as much as I'm singing about love, but then I do an interview, I'm going through a divorce. Nobody don't wanna see all that. Nobody don't wanna hear all that. I know y'all ride with me and all, but at the end of the day, my whole theme, all that I'm about is about love. And I had to make sure that I got back to the essence of that. So that's when I decided to weed out all the negative people, all the raggedy things, all the drugs, all the drinking, all the devilish things that I was doing and come back and really give you the new me, the best of me. That's what I wasn't giving y'all before. Even though it might not seem like it was, it really wasn't. And I'm honest with myself and my relationship with God enough to know that this me, this new me, this is who y'all really deserve. That old me, that was me, that was me, but that's not who I wanted to be. Wow. Whenever you need me, if you want me to put it on you, come on. 